man, I mean, doesn't life just fly by? I, I guarantee you, almost all of us in this room right now would say, I can't believe I'm already this old. Right? Wouldn't we all say that? And you're like, wasn't I young just a little bit ago? Wasn't I cool just a little bit ago? And it wasn't that little bit ago. It just flies by. We all look at our lives and go, I, I can't believe I'm at this stage already. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm at this age. I used to look at people at this age and think, wow, they're so old. And that's me now. And I'm telling you, you guys, the Bible says your life's a vapor. Boom, it's over. And that's why he says, listen, while you have opportunity, do good. You do good. You know, people have said to me, you know, how come every week you're still so, you still care so much about what you say? And it seems like every service you get even more fired up. Every, and I go, you know, because I really think to myself, this could be my last message on earth. I've had friends who died while preaching. I, I, I you know, it just, I don't know this isn't my last time. And so I want to say everything I need to say while I still have the opportunity and I want you to look me in the eyes right now because, listen, I don't know. I don't know how it all works when it ends, when it's over. You know, I'll read certain passages that make me think that you and I will know each other and we'll recognize each other and we'll remember things on the earth. Other verses, I go, well, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like we forget the things on the earth that cause so much I don't know. But here's the deal. Here's what I want to say. Some of you I'm going to see in heaven. Okay? Whether we'll recognize each other, whether we'll remember this moment right now, I'm not totally sure. Okay, I go back and forth on that one in my theology and trying to understand the scriptures. But here's what I don't want. Let's, let's suppose we remember our lives on earth and we remember everything that we went through together. I don't want any of you looking me in the eye thousand years from now, 10,000 years from now, million years from now. And St. Francis, when we were on the earth, you weren't serious enough about God. And you didn't look me in the eye and seriously tell me how huge this was. And so I want to look you in the eyes right now and tell you, listen, nothing in your life matters accept what you do for God. That's it. That's it. Every ounce of energy you spend on something else is a waste. Every dollar you spend on something else is a waste. That you really need to think through, how am I investing my life? Because when you stand before God, all the things that you worried about on the earth that you just loved so much and were concerned about, you're going to realize this, that didn't matter. And I don't want you looking at me and saying, hey, why weren't you more serious up there? Because I'm telling you, there's going to come a time, and that time's going to come before you realize that you're going to stand before God and go, what did I do with my life? You need to think through every decision and think through, is this what God would want for me to do with my time, do with my effort, my passions, my resources? Because this is just little seed time, like when you drop the seed. into the, that, That's just how quick it is. That's it. And the question is, what did you do with your life? And some of you are absolutely wasting it. And I'm telling you now, so I, I can go with a clean conscience and go, you know what? I told them. Everything else is a waste. And I am constantly reevaluating re my life. Going, God, okay, now, am I doing what I need to be doing? Am I investing like I ought to be investing? I'm constantly looking at my life because I realize this is all that matters. And we'll all see it one day. I just don't want it to catch you by surprise. See, when I look at this verse and it says, it says, do good to all believers, you know, to all people, while well, we have the opportunity, I, I look at what I'm doing right now and I go, okay, this is my opportunity to do good. Th this is what I do. This is what I do well is, is just, just to speak. 
and to speak God's word. And I just thought, you know, the most loving thing I can do is, is not come here and entertain you and make you feel good about yourself, but to get up here and speak truth this morning and say, look, this is it. You need to take a long, hard look at how you've invested your life and how you're going to invest the rest of it. Because so much of what you did this week really isn't going to matter at all. You've sown into the flesh and all that stuff's going to decay and be destroyed. And yet for those of you who, who have been trying to live the way God wants you to and you're sacrificing, you're holding on, I'm, I'm begging you, don't give up. Okay? I know it's tired. Believe me, I know. It's exhausting sometimes, but the Bible says you'll reap a harvest if you do not give up. And I want to look at you years and years and years from now and say, I told you it was worth it, right? You know? I mean, you think anyone in heaven looks back at anything they sacrificed and goes, oh, why did I give that up? No, there's no regrets. And I, I, I want, I, I pray that, I, I've prayed for this weekend saying, God, I pray it's a turning point in someone's life so that they could look at me in heaven and, and I can say, see, told you. It was worth it, huh? I, I mean, told you. You remember, remember 2,000 years ago when I told you to do that and you did it? It was worth it, huh? Man, this is, this is reality. This is the real stuff and this is all that matters. Some of you, today's your opportunity. Maybe you've never even started a relationship with God. That God in heaven is crazy about you. That God on his throne that dwells in unapproachable light wants a relationship with you. And you keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and I'm going, do you understand how serious this is? I mean, I can tell you how wonderful it is to know this God and how great it is and what a blessing it is to be in fellowship with the Holy God. At the same time, I also have to warn you, you know what? You don't have forever to make these types of decisions. You need to do what's right while you have the opportunity. If you've never publicly professed your faith in front of people and confessed in front of people through baptism, look, I'm a follower of Jesus. You need to do it. While you have the opportunity, do what's right. While you have the opportunity, don't give up. Do the right thing, because God notices. Isn't that comforting to know that all those things you've done that maybe no one else noticed, God saw it. Keep fighting, because you know every time you kick those evil thoughts out of your mind, God notices that. Every time you go back and forgive someone you just don't want to, God notices that. You go, okay, God, that's all that matters, so let me do what's right.